Hello guys, I feel like this video has been very highly requested so it's finally here what I eat in a day and a little bit of a gym routine because I've lost a stone and a half in a year. I feel like that's pretty good like it's a very like sustainable diet it's not work it's not like a crash diet where I've lost a stone and a half in a week it's been more of like a lifestyle change so I thought I would show you what I eat like on a day not on a day-to-day -day basis because I obviously eat different meals every day but this is like a standard day for me and let me tell you this was a very good food day I really went to bed feeling so satisfied and so good and I also show you a little bit of a workout as well which has got my body so snatched like I probably I'm probably now in the best shape I've ever been in so this is like a good example of what I eat in a day and a little bit of a gym routine obviously wanted to do a little trigger warning as well I will be talking about food I don't think I mentioned calories because I personally don't calorie count but there could be a mention of calories in this video so if that's triggering for you please it's not worth it like don't watch this video like I said I don't eat like this every single day some days I'll eat more some days I'll eat less if you want to see the kind of diet I had while I was losing weight then please keep watching Look at this spot that is gracing us with its presence. It's not even gracing us, it's cursing us at this point. Like that is so disgusting. I've tried popping it for like three days and it just won't move and it's so sore. So we're gonna have to ignore that because it literally makes me look like I've got a deformed eyebrow. So I'm going back to the gym today after a few days off and I always hate my first session back because I don't know whether it's just me, but if I have more than like, three or four days off. Getting back into a routine is so difficult, but I'm gonna force myself to go. I've not been going because I've been struggling with a little bit of a head cold, but I'm definitely feeling so much better today. So I'm gonna go do some cardio. Cardio is probably the thing that like helps me tone my body up a little bit more. Like obviously I love weightlifting and I love training legs. Like training legs is probably my favorite thing to do in the gym, but also doing cardio and you know, like doing hip workouts and stuff really toned my body up and that's where I saw the most difference. But even on days like today or on days where I really, really can't be bothered going to the gym but I know that I probably should go, I'll always do, even if it's like half an hour on the treadmill, I feel like that just makes the biggest difference, like active recovery days. So I'll do the 12, 3, 30 workout or I'll go on the Stairmaster and I just think it's not as intimidating when you say I'm gonna go to the gym for half an hour do one thing and then come home like it's just not as intimidating as like trying to big yourself up for this big workout i know that today i'm just gonna do some cardio maybe like on the stairmaster or something and maybe a little hit workout i know this is so random but never ever ever underestimate what a good gym set can do to your workout like when i feel cute going to the gym and i fix my hair and have a cute gym set on like i've got this one on from adenola honestly my workout is just different. Also wearing my Yeezy foams, which I always get weird looks in the gym when I wear these, but they're just so comfy to walk in. Okay, I'm gonna attempt another voiceover. So I'm starting off on the Stairmaster and I usually start off on about an eight. And I'll do that for like 10, 15 minutes. And if it gets a little bit spicy, then I'll turn it down. Or if I feel like I can do more, I'll turn it up. I feel like I was definitely getting spicy here because the jacket came off quite rapidly. Um, so I did 25 minutes on the Stairmaster and then I moved on to abs. So I started off by doing slow bicycle crunches and then moved into double time. So this is just a little bit quicker. Then I do this hold. I literally look like a shrimp. Like I don't know what it's called, but if you lift your arms up, it hurts like a B-I-T-C-H. And then, I don't know what these are called, I think they're called like jacks, but these also hurt so bad. Um, so yeah, then I move on to some toe touches as well. These are so funny to watch back, like I literally look so weird. Um, doing some leg raises now, by the way, I'm doing 30 seconds of each exercise and then I'll do this twice or maybe three times if I'm feeling brave but today I just did it twice <laughs> like, look at me there is something about a cardio and ab day are you gonna sit there be good there's something about a cardio and ab day that just makes you feel so snatched like I always feel <clears throat> 
after a cardio and ab day. They're probably my favourites, but that's the best example of you literally don't need to spend hours in the gym. I was probably in the gym no longer than 40 minutes, probably not even that. And I feel so much better, my endorphins are going, I feel snatched and yeah, I feel so much better for going to the gym even though I was literally fighting it this morning. Before I shower, I'm going to make some breakfast because I'm hungry and I also have a lot to do today so it's going to be a quick breakfast. I'm not going to lie, I do usually have a quick breakfast anyway because, I don't know, it's just not really something I take my time making. Hi baby. One thing me and Manny have been loving having in the morning is yogurt and yogurt bowls. He usually has this cherry one which is really nice but I like a Greek yogurt bowl with like granola and fruit in it and stuff so I'm gonna make that I think. And I have realized since eating sweet breakfasts I don't crave sweet food as much during the day which I'm such a sweet food girl like anyone will tell you I literally love sweet food. Every time I have a savoury meal, I need something sweet afterwards. Look how big this is. This is the biggest one I've ever had. I've just got this phage um, yogurt. This is so good for protein and it's obviously zero fat, so I really enjoy this in the morning. To be fair, I do actually have quite a few different toppings on this like sometimes i'll have peanut butter sometimes i'll have honey but i don't really like weigh or measure my food i don't count calories sorry this is gonna annoy people i know every single time i do these videos i always leave the fridge open but i literally don't weigh or measure my food i don't count calories or anything like that i just kind of eyeball it and depending on how hungry i am which today i actually am quite hungry these are the berries i'm going to put in i've got some raspberries blueberries and I'm gonna cut up a strawberry what are they putting in strawberries these days because why is that literally like a quarter of my head then I won't always add granola like if I'm not feeling it I won't have it because sometimes I don't like the crunchiness of it but this is the one I use it's the low sugar granola by Jordan's and it's cherry and almond so good probably one of the best granolas that I've tried and then I'll just sprinkle like a handful of this on the top. I was gonna have this chocolate spread but I forgot to mix it in already so I'm just gonna have some honey and this is probably better for me today especially because I'm getting over a head cold because honey is obviously really good for um, colds and stuff. So yeah this is my breakfast. I probably have this five out of seven days a week. It's honestly one of my favorites. does look gross but tastes so good i look a little bit more presentable now is it just me though or is washing your hair shaving putting makeup on drying your hair all that shebang it's literally like running a marathon like it takes so much energy out of you so i did get a little bit peckish i made myself a snack i've just made a bagel thin with some mozzarella cheese i like to have this as a mid well it's like the afternoon now it's like half 12 um so i'm gonna eat this before i go out i do need to run a few errands today and then i'm gonna come back and actually make a lunch i don't think i said this but me and manny are actually going to the theater tonight which i'm so excited about so i think i am going to eat a little bit of a lighter lunch just so i know that i can snack and stuff while i'm at the theater this is so simple but so good One last, is that a last bite? That's probably two bites, but we're gonna do it in one. Mm. I do not like how quickly the weather changed upon us. Like I'm even sounding more stuffy than I did before. Not approved by me. For lunch, I'm gonna make a big salad. I feel like because I had that mid-morning snack, I'm not starving. So I think I'm gonna make a salad and then I'm gonna show you my fridge actually because this is what we're working with currently. And I've not got the tidiest fridge ever, so please excuse that. But this is my condiment section. I do like my condiments. I probably have every condiment you could possibly think of up here. This is my like dessert, custard, yogurt, 
situation. I've got these 10 calorie jellies as well, which I don't know whether I like or not. I tried to like them, but I'm not sure. Um, I've got some berries and I have to keep my chocolate in the fridge, which I don't really like refri refrigerated chocolate, but my apartment just gets so hot that I have to keep it in here. And then on this side, we've got all of my meats and some pasta as well. So I got these, oh, bye then. I got these just for quickness if ever we're in a rush. So these are the gym kitchen, like chicken tikka, quick meals. Um, really high in protein and they actually are so good as well. I think we're going to have burgers for dinner because me and Manny have been craving them for a while. So I have these ones from Marks and Spencers. These are the 3% fat ones and honestly you really can't tell the difference. We also have some pre-cooked chicken, some prawns and some chicken breast fillets which oh my god everything's gonna fall i think this is what we're gonna have for lunch i also do like to have a fully stocked salad and veg portion so i'm gonna get all of my bits out that i need i thought we had avocados and i don't think we do which is very oh in fact they're up here got the avo this is an essential i've made this salad a lot especially when i was actually losing weight i'd probably say i'm more on maintenance calories now but when i was losing weight i used to make this salad a lot so good and really filling as well because i do add chickpeas in there too so it's not just leaves and chicken decided that i'm gonna cook the chicken whole like this and then i'm gonna cut it up after it's been cooked just because i feel like it stays juicier on the inside so i'm gonna start off with slap your mama <laughs> this is like a cajun seasoning i got it on amazon and it's really good but you don't use too much because it is quite salty i also don't like to touch chicken so if i don't have to i won't <laughs> i'm gonna add some cayenne pepper one because I feel like the spice will help clear my nose and two, me and Manny do like spicy food. So I'm gonna do that on both sides as well. I'm also gonna add some garlic. Put a bit much on there, so. To add a little bit of thyme as well because thyme on chicken is delicious and Manny introduced me to this aromat savory seasoning this is so good on chicken I know you're probably gonna think I'm so weird but I also do add a little bit of honey on there as well because like I told you I do like my sweet food and I love sweet and savory food oh my god does that want to come out so i literally just add the tiniest bit it also kind of like caramelizes the chicken as well and then i'm going to leave that to sit for a little bit but what i like to do is put some cling film over it and then with my hand i just kind of so that's what the chicken looks like. I'm gonna go and preheat the pan. I personally don't mind using olive oil, but if I am on a diet, then I'll just use this fry light because honestly, I can't really taste the difference. So I just spray the pan with that. Okay, the chicken has been cooking. It does look burnt, but it's literally just the honey caramelizing. Um, I've also cut up all of my vegetables, so I've got tomatoes, cucumber, avocado, red onion, chickpeas, sweet corn, and I'm also going to shred some lettuce. I like to have everything a similar size, like bite-sized pieces, and I'll also cut up the chicken around like this shape and size as well, because I like a chopped salad over like getting big leaves. I'm quickly going to make the dressing, although I usually use limes, and I've looked in the fridge and we don't have limes which is great. So I'm gonna make it with lemon juice. I've never made it with lemon juice before, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Hopefully it's okay. Just using some pesto, lemon juice, and honey again, and then some black pepper. Honestly, I've used honey in basically everything. So I'm just gonna add in some pesto. Sorry, I'm doing it in a month. And then what would be like half a lemon, or like maybe not even half. You can just try it as you go along and see what it needs. Needs a little more lemon. I have to change my top because I literally had food 
everywhere that's one thing about me like i wish i could be clean while i'm cooking but it never works out that way but my chicken's done and i've just cut it up into bite-sized pieces it's so juicy like this is why i like to cook it whole and then cut it afterwards was it emmanuel approved so in here I've got all of my veg, Manny's having taco boat so he's having it all separately but I'm going to add in my shredded lettuce and then also my chicken. This is the best salad ever, like if I wanted a little bit more protein then I'll have a boiled egg with it but I've not really done any like weightlifting or anything so I'm just going to eat it like this. I'll still do. A little taste test. Mm-hmm. This is what mine is having. So oh, I thought the theatre was tonight. We've literally got dressed up. I've got a picture. We're on our way to the theatre. And then I got outside of it and I was like, Manny, why does it say from the 31st? Bearing in mind today's the 30th. I got it wrong. Like, I got the date wrong. It's tomorrow. <laughs> Mood. No one ever speak to me ever again. I really don't deserve it. Like, things like this really bother me, especially being a Virgo. I'm meant to be organized. Like, why am I not a Vir- Sorry. Did that burn you? <laughs> Use the longer matchsticks, babe. I don't trust you with short ones. So I've made myself a hot chocolate with whipped cream, and then I've also got some chocolates. These ones are my favorites. I've got some white chocolate bunnies and Snickers, and I'm gonna sit here and watch Beauty and the Beast. I don't know what he's on about. Of course I'm going to watch it. Because then it'll get us in the mood to go and see it tomorrow. And then we can watch it in real life. Staring at Manny's ass at the minute. <laughs> God, this is turning into a vlog. But obviously I have to film absolutely everything I eat today. So, yeah. I'm going to sit here and pretend I'm at the theatre. I still can't get over it, but we've been watching some movies. We've been snacking for a few hours. It's currently 9 p.m., which may be late for some people, but me and Manny just like to eat late. I don't know why, because we usually go to bed about midnight, but I hate going to bed hungry, so we usually eat around like 8.30, 9 o'clock. But we were going to make burgers, and then because we had salad for lunch... It's just another salad again, like burger with salad, because I never have chips when I have burgers. So we're going to have some pasta because we have this sauce in from Marks and Spencer's and we've literally been waiting to have this. It's a creamy mushroom with mascarpone and black truffle sauce and it smells... It smells like the one we have at Rosso. It smells so good. So we're gonna make that with some fresh trophy pasta. If ever I'm trying to be good with food or like just eat a little bit healthier, I won't have a big bowl of pasta. I'll always have sides with it. So I'm gonna have some green beans and some prawns on the side and just kind of like portion it out a little bit better so it's not just a big bowl of pasta i'm getting my protein in there and i'm also getting my veggies in there as well manny's just come back from the shop because i've not had my daily coke zero which yay <gasps> nope. we also bought these to go with the pasta which i will have like one or two but coke zero i'm literally addicted like it's not funny at this point this is gonna be really quick to cook because obviously it's fresh pasta and then i'm just gonna put the sauce in with that so i think i'm just gonna de-vein my prawns fry them off a little bit um do my green beans and yeah it's gonna be a really easy dinner to me this really is the easiest dinner ever. So I've got my pasta on, green beans. I'm about to put my prawns on as well, which I've just added the Cajun slap your mama. 
<laughs> every single time um this seasoning and then also some garlic i feel like prawns don't need too much seasoning um so i'm just gonna fry them in some butter flavored fry light this is gonna be the best bit Got in for a second bite. Yeah, because it's just lacking a bit of taste, you know. Is it? Yeah. What does it need? Black pepper, garlic. You need some sloppy mama. You need some sloppy mama. You can't, baby, you can't put Cajun in creamy pasta. It needs it's parmesan. Missing, it's missing like. We actually do have some parmesan. So it needs some of that, but we'll put that on the top. Okay, we fixed the pasta. This is what my bowl looks like. So. This is how I portion it usually. I've usually got my carbs, protein, and veggies in there. So you can still enjoy like pasta dishes, but obviously if you include everything else, then it just makes it a little bit healthier. And of course, we've got some dough balls. I'm finishing the night off with one of these mini custards. I did order these on an Ocado order, and I didn't realize how small they'd be. They're really handy if you just want a little bit of custard on your cake. And then I've got these little Madeleine cakes, which are so good and that's gonna finish my night so that was everything i ate yesterday i feel like yesterday was a good food day i definitely went to bed feeling very satisfied even though i didn't get to go to the theater which i'm going today i'm very excited but um yeah i feel like it was a good food day the pasta was delicious the salad is so good um and my snacks are always elite so i just wanted you guys to know though that i don't eat like this every single day but that's why i want to do more of these videos so if you guys want to see more then please let me know um and also remember that obviously this works for me but it might not work for everyone else me eating like i did yesterday is what helped me lose a stone i didn't eat like that every single day like i said some days i ate more some days i ate less but that was like a good balanced day for me um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my little gym voiceover i'm trying to get better with those so i'm definitely going to try and stay consistent but yeah thank you guys for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next video